Now I think that I look really ridiculous and to be honest, I cannot hear myself at all. Bald Eagle. Yes, guy. Yes, yes, yes. Good morning, afternoon, evening, and good night. Welcome back. Um, the journey continues. It's been a pants week. Uh, nothing super, super catastrophic. But you know, you get those times when it's just loads of little things just annoying you and niggling and getting on your nerves. It's been that kind of week and to be honest, I'm about done with it. Um, and so I was kind of got to thinking about how the journey continues and thinking about all the things that kind of made me miserable this week and all the things I've been worried about over the last, I don't know where we are now, five, six weeks. All the anticipation, you know, worrying about the cost, worrying about time and the weather, hoping the weather holds out whilst I'm waiting to get started, uh, dealing with the inconvenience, you know. Don't worry about the fact that there's been a global pandemic. I can't start my flying quick enough. Um, and they're inconveniencing me and now I can only fly two days a week rather than five. How outrageous. Um, and it got me kind of thinking about the fact that my attitude was wrong. And so I wanted to kind of turn my frown upside down. And I wanted to change this and make this video about not all the inconveniences and all the ugly things that are happening at work and all the delays that are happening, which, let's face it, we're in the UK. If you know anything about aviation, the weather alone is going to be the biggest inconvenience. Um, so, hey, suck it up. But I want to change my attitude. I want my attitude to be more grateful. So rather than talking about all the pantsy things, let's talk about all the good things. Let's talk about the things that I'm grateful for. I am grateful that I've even got this opportunity. I am grateful that I think I've got just over 91 subscribers, which, you know, I thought I'd be lucky to get five. Thank you guys and girls, mums, dads, aunts and uncles, colleagues, brothers, sisters, strangers, friends, Stay tuned. We're going to get there. Um, but no, seriously, I'm really grateful. I'm motivated by... Motivated. I'm motivated by doing a good job and putting out content which is going to be of interest to some people. And I'm really, really, really grateful that you guys have kind of stuck around for the journey. I really appreciate it. Um, as always, if there's stuff that you want to see here, talk about do let me know in the comments uh write me a little comment let me know what you're thinking ideas you've got for the channel ideas you've got for the future um, and obviously i'm hoping to have some flying actual flying content for you guys really soon i'm grateful for provision um for those of you who don't know again we talked about in episode one i think maybe two talked about cost and making sure that all your ducks are in a line making sure that you've got all the provision and a simple thing like being able to get to and from the airfield um obviously you can see my studio here is has been wonderful for me but actually it's the family car or my wife's car it's the family car and to take this one from her would mean that she has to get the train and obviously that's not very inconsiderate in my current circumstance I'm trying to ensure that my flying doesn't unduly impact my family again I'm not in my late teens in my early 20s where I can just take off and all I've got to worry about is you know did mummy wash my socks actually I've got to be responsible with the decisions I'm making so that mean acquiring a new car and I have one it's you know not necessarily what I was looking for it's not bells and whistles but it's a really good sturdy cheap small car which is going to be able to get me to and from the airfield past its flying MOT with flying colours I'm really really 
really grateful. Um, I'm grateful about my medical, as you all know. Check the episode. I'm grateful about that. You know, I, I find that... What do I find? I find that my life, this is me, I'll speak for myself, that, you know, I'll worry about something and then overcome that hurdle and sometimes I'll be almost immediately dissatisfied with the way I did it, if that makes sense. So, for example, I might be worried about taking a test and get 8 out of 10 in the test and immediately be annoyed about the two I didn't get. And I'm trying to change my attitude. I need to be more grateful. I could have got nothing out of 10 in that example and failed the exam and had to do it again. Um, And the same can be said for the, you know, the medical, anything, the car. I could have had to fork out hundreds, if not thousands of pounds for a new and reliable car. And that car will serve not only me, but my family. And I'm really, 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 really grateful for that. Um, Yeah, I'm grateful. I'm grateful for not just the encouragement and subscribers. That's great. Like, subscribe, share. Woo! Do all the the, the, the usual things. I'm grateful for that stuff. But I'm also grateful for the advice. Um, There's some of you who have been really, really good to me. You've critiqued me where I've needed it. And that's all a part of growth. Hence the comment sections. Uh, I'm grateful for the the opinions and thoughts and advice from both people who have an interest in aviation, but equally those who don't. You know, what might make it appealing to a wider audience, the stuff I'm doing. I'm really grateful about that. Um, I'm grateful for the opportunity for deals. Now, check this. Now I think that I look really ridiculous and to be honest, I cannot hear myself at all. But I'm grateful that I've got my first headset. It's not brand new. It's come from a pilot who lives close to me. Uh, Sorry, hold on, let me take this off. I just thought I'd show you what it looks like. Um, It's come from a pilot who lives around the corner from me. Got it from eBay, it was a great deal. It's noise cancelling. Uh, again, it's not the cream of the crop, but it didn't cost me a thousand pounds. It didn't cost me five hundred or six hundred pounds. It's within the budget that I've set, and again, it's another opportunity to go do what I love. I'm grateful that the people at Compton Abbas, Compton Abbas, I'm grateful that they are kind and uh, not cursing me to my face. The fact that I call or email them three or four times a week to find out what's going on. Look, what what am I saying? I, I just felt it was really important, you know, I think even in doing this channel, I find that as it's developed, as it grows, um, not necessarily just numbers, but in content, in what I'm saying, what I'm talking about, initially and still to this day, I kind of have sometimes a difficult thing about what do I want the channel to be, what do I want it to say, yes, I want some cool and sexy flying videos of of me you know killing maneuvers and screaming in smooth landings and all that kind of stuff and I'm just learning more and more that while I wait for the dream while I wait for that dream to manifest while I wait for the opportunities to present themselves while I wait for Covid and Corona to give me sanctions which will allow me to fly how is my attitude how am I checking myself in the meantime am I doing what I need to be doing is my headspace and you know am I, am I in the right headspace and I just want to encourage you guys as I encourage myself that while you wait for that dream while you wait for that thing to realize itself and manifest itself or for your packages to arrive and the delays that are happening and the disappointments and there are many disappointments I am facing many disappointments many bits of rearranging case in point I really wanted to be flying, as I said, five days a week. Can't do that because of the aviation bubble, i.e. Previously, I would have had two or three instructors and that would have kept me on their rotors flying at least once a day, Monday to Friday. 
I can't do that. It looks like best case scenario, I'll get two, maybe three days a week, which is still amazing. You know, some people fly once a month, but I'm having to resist the grumbling inside me, which is going, oh, but I wanted to do it my way. And um, I just want to have a grat- gratitude attitude. A gratitude attitude. Yeah, that's what I want. I want to be a person who is grateful for what I have, for my family, for my friends, for the people that I'm going to meet, for the opportunities, for this amazing weather while it lasts. Um, and I know this sounds pink and fluffy, but I think there's something in it. Um, I've always got something to complain about. I've always got something to grumble about. But there's been so much rubbish that's already happened in 2020. I think it's time to just lift my eyebrows, lift my head a bit. I'm not depressed or anything like that, but I think maybe I've been making mountains out of molehills at times. And when you do that, the people around you suffer. You know, it's it's my wife and the kids that have to then deal with any moping. Not that I've been moping, of course. But they have to deal with that, and it's not fair. So, what am I saying? Let's all be better people. Let's all be grateful. And be encouraged to be grateful. It's not always as bad as we think, As even though it does get bad. It does get rubbish. It does get horrible out there. It does get crippling and debilitating and discouraging and... You know, I didn't lose anyone because of Corona or COVID. I was inconvenienced, but look, let's be grateful. Hopefully some flying content coming real soon. Please do stay tuned. Do let me know in the comment section what you want to see, what you want to hear. I'm hoping to do some interviews with some quite interesting people in the near future that just depends on their schedules and my schedule moving forward Um, but stay tuned check me out on all the social media stuff I say all the social media stuff it's here on Instagram you probably ain't gonna find me anywhere else Um, but again I'm grateful to you guys and I'll catch you next time